Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd of Vicious RV here with something a little bit different today. Um, Keystone Cougar has come out with this new thing they're calling the Midnight Edition, and it is just a stone cold stunner. And the thing is, it's kind of uh, a little bit of a change from what we've normally seen in the industry. Normally, things like full body paint packages, you only see that kind of stuff on like the big, really high end, you know, motorhomes, really high level fifth wheel stuff like that. And Cougar is kind of changing the framework, uh, you know, of the playing field here. But the thing is, they made it more than just paint. It really is a whole package of a lot of cool things kind of put together. In a way, if you think about it, it's kind of like how Montana has a legacy package. Cougar has their Midnight Edition. But... It's done a little bit differently. So what I want to do here to help really kind of clear up some maybe otherwise muddy waters, I want to go through this package step-by-step step, new kids on the block style, ooh baby, and let you know kind of what is included with it to help you decide if it might be the right thing for you. And of course, at any point, you can check the link in the video description to see any of the cougars that we have in stock to see any of them that may have the Midnight Edition. And if we don't have the one that you're looking for, because it is available on any what I'm going to call full big cat cougar, not like the cougar quote half ton series, um, but the actual full just cougar proper series. So it's something that you can get anywhere from like le less than 32 feet on this new floor plan behind us up through their biggest models. And I think it's pretty cool. And there, it's more than just eye candy. There's actually some really good content here, uh, ranging from solar to towing safety and everything in between. Let's see what this has to offer to see if it's the right one for you. Now, I think the first part of this package to touch on to and the most obvious is the paint package on it because that's what a cougar normally looks like. And then when you see the paint package, like when you just see it on its own, it maybe doesn't have quite that punch, but when you see it uh, in contrast from A to B, it looks amazing. And they have two uh, colors here. They have uh, the first one that is behind us here is called Black Onyx. And here's some uh, flyby footage to give you a better look at that thing. And it is a true paint package. Like there's not like graphic decals on that, like all the, the little stripes and things. That is all painted on there. Um, the, uh, the Black Onyx obviously has a, a, a darker black kind of base coat with a uh, like bright silver kind of almost metallic sparkle uh, little accent stripe to it. Whereas the uh, the Phantom Gray, that one I think for me takes the cake. It just really looks um, beefy, uh, almost tactical. That, that Phantom Gray thing looks fantastic to me. Now, I always try to share the good with the bad. So, um, one of the downsides of these paint packages is that they are darker, and the RV will probably absorb more solar radiation from the sun, and that may mean that it gets a little bit warmer in the RV. Now, one of the things that Cougar actually does really well is uh, some brands will talk all about their, their, their weather packages and their cold camp ratings. Cougar does all that, but they're also one of the best brands out there for hot climate camping. They're actually 0 to 110 degree rated. They go 10% further than most brands and as a result I, I really feel in most areas of the country that even with the darker paint package even in direct sunshine with the dual airs that are standard in the midnight edition we'll talk about that in a few minutes I guess I've already kind of spoiled that little nugget but the fact is I, I, I think with the radiant barrier packages and everything I think that generally speaking these will just be fine now if you're in crazy sun country Texas Arizona type places it might be a factor to consider and what you may want to do is ask around to some friends family uh local campgrounds things like that with people that do have full body paint package rvs that are a little bit darker to see how they're performing in that area now i don't live there so i don't know what that's going to be like but i can at least try to give you the fair information so that you know whether this may or may not be worth spending extra money on before you dive right into it i'd be kind of curious to know which of the two looks looks best to you? Because again, for me, it's that Phantom Gray, but I wouldn't exactly turn my nose up at either of them. Now, one of the cool things with a full body paint package is that um, kind of like your vehicle will uh, be more resistant to like weather fading over time, it is literally an automotive paint that is put on these. So as a result, when the RV ages, if it is outside and, and subjected to more weather exposure, it doesn't tend to fade and 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 like get that that weathered look that a lot of other things have and as a result you know if you've ever looked in the used rv market at a painted rv it's like 10 years old it doesn't look 10 years old it will keep the rv looking and feeling much much younger which i think is very very cool 
Next up on the list are the windows. This right here is the kind of window you'd normally find on a Cougar. It's a sliding airflow window. And you will still find them on the sides of the slides of a Cougar Midnight Edition, uh, but you won't find them on the rest of the windows. Instead, what you'll find are frameless and actually dual pane frameless windows. So this window right here has been an available option on a lot of Cougar models for a number of years. Um, so you could still get that sleek frameless look or get the dual pane function, whichever one you're looking for. But they decided to standardize that here on the Midnight Edition. And where I think that is cool is you, I, I've actually been very outspoken by the fact that uh, dual pane windows in the RV industry don't provide a significant increase in R value. But it does provide a cool look. It dampens a lot of noise. And uh, hey, it is still a slight nudge in our value not a whole lot and again when we're talking about potentially absorbing more of that sunshine in the rv um i think anything that helps keep the heat out of the rv on something like this is going to be a very good thing so that's another one of those things that kind of wraps up in there but again the noise cancellation that you get off these windows is fantastic if you're just looking for a quiet calm experience at your destination those are going to be something that you never realized you, you really learn to appreciate quickly and next to kind of go right along with that sort of eye candy appeal and really fit into the midnight edition thing they blacked out the wheels so here's a look at what cougar wheels normally look like just a nice bright you know kind of chrome looking silvery like you expect but again that sort of almost tactical look when everything blacks out and then you got all the kind of like red hardware behind it just as this high contrast i didn't expect to see that but overall it just the the overall look and factor of it i think is really on point and fits the name but it's more than just eye candy. Well, the, the the wheels are obviously eye candy, but I mentioned how there's some towing safety things in here. The Midnight Edition actually also includes anti-lock braking. If you're not familiar with this, ABS systems, like we're, we're spoiled with them because we have modern vehicles. They've been federally mandated for safety reasons on semi-tractor trailers since 1997. So professionally trained and licensed drivers have to have this stuff. Why not folks like you and me who chances are have a little more casual level of driver's license? You know, we took driver's training when we were 18 for the first, last, and only time ever. So what this will do for you, and when you're in a panic brake situation, if you have to absolutely stab the brakes, um, it is possible if you have your brake controller cranked up too high that the wheels on the trailer may lock up and they start bouncing. Well, when the, the trailer's bouncing, it's not slowing down and the trailer will start to pass you. Have you ever seen pictures on Facebook where like somebody's trailer uh, spun around them on the highway because they had to hit the brakes real fast? This will prevent that from happening. It will make the trailer just follow you where you go so that when you don't have time to think about it, when you're like, oh no, we have to hit the brakes right now, it will, uh, you just drive and the trailer will follow you as it's done. I've actually personally been in um, RVs with an ABS system turned on and off and gone through demo test drive the this is real this is legit and frankly this is something i want to see on more rvs to the tune of uh, all of them if i could get away with it another thing that definitely falls into that sort of eye candy appeal and and into the midnight theming is how they give it a full uh change to the exterior lighting your awning lights you, the lighting integrated into your speakers and the nose cap all change to a uh like obi-wan kenobi jedi lightsaber blue light right here uh just to give the thing a, a really kind of cool sweet glow at night and against that paint package it really provides a surprising kind of glow now the problem is I'm recording this during the day where you can't really get a good feel for it. Um, if uh, you're, you're shopping for one of these, uh, maybe ask a salesperson to see if they can get a nighttime shot of it. But understand that's cutting into like their personal and family time. If somebody is willing to do that for you, that's a really good shopping sign, by the way, for someone that will absolutely go to the ends of the earth to take care of you. So there's a little shopping pro tip for you from your Uncle Josh. But um, that, that's kind of an icing on the cake. Don't expect somebody necessarily to do that, but if they do, that's a good sign. Additionally, with this package, your, your base solar level increases. So on mo uh, well, on all Keystone RVs, you have their 220 watt um, factory standard solar package with a 30 amp controller. With the Midnight Edition Cougars, you're going to go up to their 440i package, which includes uh, a second 220 watt panel, so 440 watts total, a 2000 watt inverter, um, extra plugs on the roof where if you want to add more solar, more prep if you want to add another controller, um, even a uh, uh, another inverter prep in case you want to wire up the main air conditioner. It's a very expandable, robust package. But the thing is, they do more than just solar and inverter with this Midnight Edition. 
You are also getting two 100 amp hour Dragonfly lithium batteries up front here. They have their own heating element, so if it's cold, they'll warm themselves up before they try to accept a charge so they don't damage themselves. And that is a really good ratio. Generally speaking, ideally, you want about two watts of solar for every amp hour of battery. Well, this gives you 440 watts of solar, 200 uh, amp hours of battery. That's a pretty solid combination right there. And that provides you like a, a really ideal curve of like um, recharge, capability versus storage capacity so that everything kind of lines up and works very well so that that's a awesome feature right there where if you're going to do any level of boondock off-grid function even if it's just like a uh, overnight stealth mode uh like driveway camping kind of thing it gives you that juice to be able to run a standing fan or a cpap machine overnight um maybe a coffee machine in the morning you know and then finally, I think partially to help combat the potential extra heat that you may absorb with the darker skin package, the Midnight Editions will gain a uh, automatic second air conditioner uh, up front in the uh, bedroom of these fifth wheels right here to really kind of give you, you know, your, your max possible cooling capacity on something like this. I did notice that the shrouds also switched to black. I'm guessing it is again for that eye appeal function. I personally prefer a white AC shroud just for a little bit of maximized efficiency. But that is one of those things where if you like everything about this package except the AC shroud, that's just a, a piece of ABS plastic that we have on the shelf at our stores. If you'd prefer to have white AC shrouds, let us know. That's an easy thing for us to be able to swap out for you. No big deal there. So I hope you found this useful today. Um, I'd be kind of curious to know, what do you think about the package? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Now, naturally, the real answer to that question kind of depends on, well, how much does it cost? At the time this video comes out, here's the MSRP value on that. But keep in mind, you don't buy for MSRP with Bish's RV. We always have a discounted sale price. So that might maybe give you a barometer, but you're certainly not paying that whole sticker tag right there because chances are looking at the, just that figure might be a little bit of sticker shock. But I'd be curious to know, what do you think about it? What do you like about the package? Um, what do you think it maybe should include that it shouldn't or maybe what doesn't it need? Like how could they evolve the package over time? Leave us some feedback. We'll get that back to Cougar and who knows where it might go here. But I think this is really interesting to see something more in a I guess even though Cougars are big technically in the marketplace mid-size fifth wheel really I'm almost gonna say punching above its weight class and getting into the knickers of some of these high-end luxury fifth wheels but really if you look at it Cougars kind of been doing that for a long long time it is not an accident at the time of this filming this is the number one selling series of fifth wheels out there, the Keystone Cougar. So they're definitely doing something right. And I think they're onto something here, but that's just my nerdy two cents. Until next time, if you appreciate how we get you this information, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, next time around, who knows what we'll have for you. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.